Hi, I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report. Today we're in Beverly Hills for the fourth and final season premiere of Banshee. Hey, everybody. Yeah, me. Huh? So you? nice to meet Great. you in you person. Too. You too, yes. Okay, so all night tonight we have been uh, doing shout outs to Brock's beard, and where is it? <laughs> where oh, is look it? At this. <laughs> nice. Wait a minute, what? There it what? is. There it is. Uh, <laughs> By the way, welcome home. Oh, uh, thank you. Apparently, my. my beard fell off and fell on Adam's face. Apparently so, yeah. it did. Yeah. I wanted to know what, I mean, the upkeep on that thing. Um, you did mention mm -hmm. that you can grow it like overnight, I but can. I was and, really excited I was going to see it. I really it. should have grown it. I only got about halfway done with the process. I didn't <laughs> sit in the mirror looking long enough and just <laughs> make my angry face. Um, yeah, the, it's uh, it doesn't take long. And uh, Matt Roush didn't bother growing a beard either. I know. Well, he did get a chance to wear uh, yours. Oh, he did. Oh, brother, you know I can talk, talk, talk. <laughs> and, here comes my, and here comes my alcohol. Right. Um, so uh, the beard came off strictly uh, because I have two uh, daughters who refused to kiss. I think I said you refused yes. to kiss me goodnight because the beard usually smells like what I had for lunch. Oh. Uh, or maybe it smells like Banshee. And Banshee doesn't smell good. I it's not imagine. a good smell in town. Gasoline and blood. Yeah, you get the sense. Maybe some yeah. cigarettes. Yeah. And whiskey. Yeah, bad sex. Bad sex. What, what, what did I? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm taking a, be a beard break, <laughs> but it's back soon. Are we going to see uh, Brock's love life reignited this season? Um, if by love life you mean his love for Lucas Hood, then yes, it will be reignited <laughs> in a big way. Surprise ending. Uh, with Brock and Lucas, but smooches uh, at the end. Big smooches, see? believe me. Uh, yeah, the ending is incredible. Well, it's so. been such a pleasure watching your character develop and grow over the seasons. I'm so sad that the show is over, but is there anything you can tell us about this final season, as far as you, your performance, your character, anything? Um, you know, it's just it, it is. It, what's fun is you're watching a, a lot of the show this season through my eyes. Oh, awesome. um, it is. Uh, it's a different, I said the first three seasons of Banshee were like Banshee on cocaine. This season's like Banshee on booze. It's like a little slower, a little woozier, a lot of flashbacks, uh, flash forward, time frame becomes a little nebulous, okay. and uh, we're kind of stumbling down drunk through a lot of the season, getting in fights, <laughs> and there's a mystery at the middle of it that Brock is trying to solve, and it's all sort of seen through my eyes. And what's great is because of that mystery, I got to interact with every character on the show, which I never had a chance to do. So you get Brock Job, you get Brock Carey, you get, I, I, yeah. What yeah. a gift. Oh, it was great, because I really, oh, what a great way to go out to have interaction with every single character on the show. Absolutely. And I just I loved it. I can't yeah. wait to watch it. We're gonna screen the season premiere tonight, yeah. and uh, maybe we'll have some drinks with your beard later. Um, Can we get one more photo? Yeah, God, I can't, but this is so sad that I have to do this. He does. <laughs> Thank you so much, Matt. My pleasure. We'll see I'll see you afterwards. Yes, okay, okay. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this interview, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and leave a comment for me below. Who's your favorite character on Banshee? Mine is Job Forever. Until next time, I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report.